Hello and welcome to all you Sagittarians. This is your monthly horoscope for October of 2019. Now, what a month it was, wasn't it? Dear Sagittarians, last month with Jupiter squaring up to Neptune and all that mutable energy. Now, it was a very Neptunian month last month. And this month is not so much life-changing for the Sagittarians. So it doesn't always have to be, right? Uh, all the emphasis now is on Saturn and Pluto. It's a more of a Saturnial, Plutonian kind of month. Again, doesn't mean that these are general horoscopes. So, um, of course, you have to tailor-made uh, watch your individual horoscope. But in general, this is a bit lighter than last month for you Sagittarians. Now, the good news first, the good news is that you have a lot of energy in your 12th house that is really nice with Venus there, Mercury there, and later on in the month also the Sun in there. That shows that it's a good month to relax. It's, a, it's going to be, when you had, for instance, uh, a couple of weeks or months that you haven't been sleeping well, this is improving. Um, you can relax a little bit easier. You can actually enjoy yourself behind the scenes. You know, the 12th house is behind the scenes. So fill that in how you want to fill that in. Um, on another level, it can also mean that you feel supported by the unconscious world. You know, it's a very spiritual house as well, that, that you feel more connected. Uh, than normal. So this is all, it's for the whole month. So you'll feel this in, uh, and, and there is a, um, also more possibility to reload your batteries, to uh, be able to, um, uh, to escape a little bit. But in, hopefully a very, I, I think in a positive way, because these are positive energies. Um, but it's, it's the place where we escape. It's the place where we, um, uh, yeah, where where we um, kind of detach from the real world, so to speak. So it's a good time to to watch a movie, to watch a good book, and just really lose yourself in it, um, just to um, relax yourself. So a good month or a better month for relaxation, for sure. And now all the energy, of course, is happening in your eleventh house. Now we, and, and that's the Saturnian Plutonian month that I was talking about. Mars in, is in your 11th house and it's in Libra. So Libra and Sagittarius go very well together. So notwithstanding the fact it forms a square with Saturn and Pluto in your second house, it's relatively okay for you. Why? Because it is in Libra and uh, Libra goes well with you, but also because Saturn receives Mars very well and Mars receives Saturn very well. That means when you do the effort and when you're not afraid of responsibility, when you're not afraid of not taking the shortcut, you can get tremendous results in both of those areas. So it doesn't mean to say when it's a square is bad. It means the energy. It is what it is. It's how we master that energy. So, um, and my advice to you is to master it in a very mature way, in a very uh, slow way. So Mars in the 11th and Saturn in the second house. First of all, if you work for yourself, if you have your own company, this could mean a month where at the end of the month or next month, you will look back to it and you will say, wow, I made a lot of progress, whether it is financially, whether it ha because the second house is your finances, but it's also your self-worth. Uh, it's also how you feel about yourself. This is a, a possibility to improve. But again, not by taking shortcut, not by... Uh, the 11th house is the, the way where you put your energy. So again, when you have your own business or you work for a company, um, when you do PR, when you do connecting with other people and being very active with networking, you can uh, really have great results. So the 11th house is the house of, of um, internet network, um, connecting with like-minded people. Yes, you will have to do some effort there and not expect a shortcut. So for instance, if you would do a video because you wanna promote your, um, um, you wanna promote your, your services, uh, it, it's not gonna work by, by just making one video uh, for three minutes. You see what I mean? It's about the Saturnial way, which is making 
every week uh, a video of five to ten minutes with a lot of quality in it you do it slow but you do it good and then you will have a lot of success so that's the saturnal kind of way and pluto is about transformation so uh of course, Saturn, last month, uh, the Sag, most of the Sagittarians, especially the one with the rising uh, Sagittarius who have Saturn there and the, the South Node in the second house might have had um, financial issues, might have had issues of uh, resources and, uh, because, and very karmic because of the South Node. So it's, it's really hard to uh, try to, to uh, conquer that. But um, it's away from the South Node now, Saturn, and Saturn is going direct. So it should have been at its peak uh, last month, and now it's improving. So a lot of you Sagittarians will feel in their finances, financial situation, an improvement for sure. And definitely now with the improvement comes by, uh, and if you're not working for yourself, the improvement comes through friends maybe or being active with friends being doing things with friends with like-minded people talking to people it's in libra so it's about doing things with people but on a very airy kind of way so um you could take a leading role for instance in a group with mars in the 11th house so it, it's certainly uh, very interesting for those of you who want an improvement in your financial situation it's about doing the hard work, but day by day and, um, and not fearing the future too much because that's the negative side of Mars Saturn. Uh, when you go too much towards the future, you kind of have anxiety and you don't know how you have to. So that's why I recommend you to stay in the now and to stop your thoughts when they're going towards the future too much. So a very good month to improve your self-worth, uh, dear Sagittarians, a very good month to improve your social activity. It's going to be a very lively social month. You just had the um, uh, new moon there um, at the end of, uh, of uh, September in the, this house as well. So some new things can, uh, you can uh, work on that relates to 11th house. Um, yeah, it's also a financial house, the 11th house, because it's the second from the 10th when you work for yourself. So again, uh, a lot, lots of improvements and take time to relax every now and then. Having said that, thank you so much for watching. I wish you a very good month. And if you want a reading, just uh, get in touch.